Yeah, I'm good. What's up people, it's your boy Serato back at you one more time again and in today's video we're going to be doing a special tribute to my favorite artist that is Cause. And today we're going to be doing a special pair of Jordans, Jordan 8s to be more specific, that are very similar to the pair of Jordans that he actually released with Jordan Brand. But of course I'm going to be throwing a Serato twist on it, of course that's what I have to do for every piece I put out. I'm going to be doing a special version this time, this is going to be a new paint that I'm using this time for my new sponsor that is Solar Colored Dust. I'm going to put the links down below so you guys can buy some of that stuff if you want some. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how to mix it, how you use it, and then I'm going to show you how it works. So sit back, drop a like, don't drop a like, whatever you want to do, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Sure, So now we got our piece prepped and we've got our base coat laid down. I'm going to go ahead and start laying in the main design line work here. Now we're going to go ahead and start laying in our color. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our most important step, which is of course our solar color dust. This is what is going to enable us to have our color changing aspects. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show, show this to you real close here. And then we're going to show you what we're going to need to mix all this together. So first we've got our thermal dust black. This is the pigment we're going to use that we're going to mix into our Angelus neutral paint. As you can see, it starts off as this black powder in the back here. You can see from the clear backing. And uh, as soon as you add a little bit of heat to it, uh, anything above 86 degrees, uh, we'll start the conversion process, which is uh, you know a little bit of chemical process that will actually change the color to colorless as you will see. The thick clear plastic on this packaging here actually prevents the process from showing all the way in the bag, but uh, once we take it out, we thin it out, uh, it will go completely invisible when you apply heat. Just to give you guys an example, this is my first time using this paint as well, so I did do a test sheet here, and as you can see, it just sucks the paint right off the thing. It's almost like the hairdryer just blows that paint right off the piece of paper, so it is pretty cool. And as you can see, it will slowly return back to black uh, as you allow the heat to dissipate or you just, you know, take your hand off or whatever you're using to keep it hot. Um, so if you walk outside in the cold, it will switch back automatically, which is pretty cool. So as we were saying earlier, here's our pigment. Here's our Angelus neutral paint. Get that in focus so you can see. And then we're going to add our tooth into our piece just like this right here which will allow us to actually airbrush this over top because you cannot brush this in it just does not work uh, you're gonna need an airbrush if you don't have one uh, 
And once we mix it all together, we get this bottle right here that is fully airbrush ready. Then we can proceed to laying in our top layer. This top layer weirdly took me like 15 layers to do and get solid enough that I actually liked it. So uh, I'm gonna save you guys some time and skip all that. here to stay up to date with all my works and click the links over here to make sure you watch any of my previous works you know catch up on something you missed or just find something new also to purchase your own custom is you know, serato.com it is in the links the description of the videos it's all over the place you just got to do the legwork and look to be sure to help support the channel at patreon.com slash serato so without further ado i'll catch you guys in the next video